Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, Glenn from Tamiya Legends has given me a shout out to show what current RC kit I have stashed at rckicks.com. So, well, this video is going to be a bit of a long one. So it's best to go off, pause the video now, go off, make a cup of tea, come back, sit down and watch this video. Um, also, if you're on a long commute, this will probably help. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. Well, this is the RC Kick Studio. Believe it or not, it looks larger in the video footage than it actually is. It used to be an office in the house, but I converted it into the RC Kick Studio. So we have the cool wall at the back, and this is probably the view that you kind of see most looking down the studio. But behind the camera, we have few boxes that's uh, Rebecca's uh, Herbie monster beetle so that box is only here because it's got a few bits and pieces for the body but then that will disappear upstairs I've got a new inbox a st uh, super astute that will be built on the channel as well as a new inbox terror conqueror which also will be built on the channel going around from the bottom we have my son's pumpkin which is broken at the moment needs fixing suspensions broken we also have my daughter's uh, fifth birthday present which was the pink lunchbox then we have my trusty um, Traxxas TRX4 Sport which is quite modified also it's my camera car and then over here we've got the striker giveaway cars just waiting to go out to uh sean sean is getting that so that's about to be packed up and sent off then over here we have my fantastic really happy with it my cco2 benz uh, g500 then i did a video quite recently on my current car show brushed vintage motors i'll put a link up in the corner if you haven't seen it already then i've got my tto2 Porsche 911 RSR that I did we did twin build me and Rebecca I'll put another link up there if you haven't seen that also got a few other bits and pieces uh, some manuals and there's some uh, transmitters over there as well as a box for a Dyna Run motor that I had then I've got these little tiny cars I get a lot of questions about these little tiny Tamiya cars um i forget where i got these now it's been quite a while but you can pick them up i can't remember the names of them off the top of my head uh but yeah they're pretty cool so they live on my desk then we have a car current project that i'm working on with the paints just turned up today and this is my porsche 959 uh body on a uh jimny chassis it's coming along really well and I'm really chuffed with it. So this will be a full driver and I've got some Riri decals. I have got some originals, but I'm not going to put them on this one because it's going to be a driver car. So I'm just going to use um, aftermarket decals, but I'll still paint it up quite nicely. The inside driver cockpit will come out of my original one once my professional painted ones come back and go into my original Porsche 959. So that's coming very, very soon. Now I've got the paint, I can actually paint it up and get the decals on it. It's fully working and it's all driving as it is. It just needs to have um, the wing mirrors as well. And I've got all those and the um, spoilers, um, the brake lights on the top and the rear spoiler to go on. Then you have my little baby, which I'm slowly restoring more off camera than anything. This is my Schumacher. No, it's not Schumacher at all. It's a Kershaw, uh Tom's Turbo Optima Mid Special that I'm restoring. A few more bits have come in since I think you've last seen it on the, stu uh, on the show. Um, but that's a long ongoing project. The problem with that at the moment is I haven't got a body for it. The body for the Tom's is slightly different because there is a bulge on the left side of the um, other cars and on the Toms it didn't have it. So I'm trying to source one of those, um, but I've got the decals and everything else. And uh, what's missing of this one, I'm waiting for screw sets to come really and I'm keeping an eye out for some slightly less worn out shocks, but that's the Toms. Oh, I've got um, some body mounts now fitted as well as a few other bits that were, were missing off there. So that's that. Then you've got my wife's um, uh, Herbie that I talked about earlier with a box over there. We are still sitting waiting on paint 
nearly three weeks later. I've actually ordered paint from somewhere else just to see if that comes quicker. The body is all rubbed down, ready to go. Um, and I've got the MIP ball diff sitting there waiting to be fitted. So that'll be a whole uh, video on its own. Um, I've got some rear adapters for the wheels. So that is um, gives us options to change the rear wheels to be more suited to that car. Then we have the cool wall, which I'm sure you've all seen in all the videos. So there's quite a few cars. So I'll try and go through them as fast as possible. Otherwise this video will be 40 minutes long. One of the first cars ever restored on the show was a original boomerang. That's all put back to mint condition. I've run it once. Um, most of my cars all run. So they have everything, all electronics and everything. So that's a fully restored um, boomerang. Then we have a fully restored brand new Falcon with a, uh, is that the one with the original body? Yes, it's got an original body on it. Um, then we have my wife's Porsche TTO2 that we did on the show. Then I have a Avanti Black, ooh, Avanti Black. Um, needs the gearbox taken out and cleaned, but uh, also needs a new under tray. Um, so that will come at some point on the, on the show. Then we've got a Neo, uh, Top Force Neo. This one's in really good condition. I've just fitted brand new rear tires on it. The front tires are still coming, so they should be in the next couple of days, but it's pretty much mint. It's not missing anything. Then we have a 2011 Ivanti, and it's in gunmetal gray. Um, I didn't paint it, I bought it like that. And also it's got the pink wheels on it. It should be in blue. Then we have a 2000 and, um, 2001 Ivanti. I have a full body set decals uh, waiting for this one and they're all correct brand new white wheels and the driver is correct and everything. Then we've got a uh, original uh, Egress. Um, is this the original one? Oh, we can't see the blue. Yeah, it's got the blue on it. This is an original Egress. Then it's got no motor in it, it needs a motor. A uh, fully restored Vanquish, you can see it's mint. Uh, needs a driver, but I'll put an egress driver in it or um, a Vanti driver. Then we've got an early Ivanti, um, Ivanti, yeah, yeah, early Ivanti um, Mark One, basically. Um, needs a full rebuild. It's got a technical motor in it. Um, does need a bit of love. We'll need a rebuild. We'll be done on the show. Then we move on to my Cure Shows. This is Cure Show Optima Mid. That's the first one that came out. Um, I bought it like this. I have got a new body for it. Not too keen on the alloy wheels. A bit blingy for me, really. But uh, I'll try and source some white ones at some point. And then a whole new body for that one. Um, I have got a mechanical speed controller and all the uh, electronics. Uh, so I can turn this one back to original. So it will have all the old vintage electronics in it. Then I have a mid turbo, turbo mid. Um, we'll need a full restore. I think the gearbox has gone a bit wonky in it. Um, as well, I've got a new body and new decals for that as well. So that will need a rebuild. Then you have my F1 Senna uh, McLaren. I built this on the show. I'll put a link up in the uh, corner for you. Fantastic car. I love it, but no way around here to drive it. So it's brand new. It's got all the electronics in it. And I've also fitted a, a Acto Power F1 motor in it. Um, love that car. It's really beautiful. It was really fun to paint. A little bit difficult, but uh, I managed to get all the lines nice and sharp. So I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, then we've got one of my latest acquisitions, which is a Koyosho Mid uh, Custom. We'll need a full rebuild, probably the most worn out of my mids. Um, so I need a few bits and pieces for that, but that will get rebuilt on the show. Then you have the last mid, which was the um, Koyosho Turbo Optima. No, was it just Optima Custom Special? I think it was. The naming's terrible. I, I struggle to remember constantly. Um, this is actually in very good condition, but it needs a new body. Then we have a totally neglected, sitting here for months on end, Astute. It's in actually pretty decent condition, but I'd like to rebuild it on the show. I have a new body. I have new decals and everything for it. Um, I also have some high caps to go on it as well, but uh, yeah, so it's in reasonably con in good condition, but I want to make it a shelf queen. Then we have a Riri Frog. 
that I bought after I did the giveaway frog and I loved it so much. This car drives way better than you would think for its age and I really love this car. Um, I put some pink wheels on the front and I'm desperately trying to get hold of rear pink wheels. Now there's only one car that did the pink wheels and that's the um, Hornet uh, June Watanabe. So I'm trying to find some rear tyres for that because I just like having the pink wheels because it's just a little bit different and it's a bit of fun. So if anyone's got any, please get in contact because I've been after them for about six months now and they never come up. Also, I'm after a June Watanabe um, Hornet as well. Then you've got my Evo. This is an original Top Force Evo. It's in pretty good condition, but the body is not original and the decals are not original. I have got an original body. You can tell this is fake because it doesn't have the cutout. Um, I have an original body, but I still don't have original decals for it. I have some very good um, uh, aftermarket decals, but I'd like to put original ones on it. This is totally original, original wheels high caps and, and all that kind of stuff, right diffs and everything. It's actually in really good condition. Um, one of my favorite cars. Then you have another one of my cars I love that I built on the show. This is the 934 and that's the Tamiko uh, special edition version. One of only 333, I think it was. I still haven't fit the body properly. I uh, upgraded the wheels on it. Um, I've got a light kit in it. But I want to put, there's a second light kit you can do, which does flashing lights and things like that. Also, I've got some window wipers to put on this car. I absolutely adore it. It's beautiful. It's in mint condition because I built it. Then we have my um, Lancia Rally. This car I bought because it basically came up and I jumped on it because it don't come up very often. It's actually in lovely condition. It's pretty much mint condition apart from the body needs to be painted. The body is in fantastic condition. There's no damage whatsoever. It's just, it was never painted and a lot of the stickers weren't fitted. Now I'm going to strip the body down, paint it up, paint the driver, and then fit all the stickers back on again. But it's for all in purposes, brand new and was never used. As far as I know, it was driven once. It was, this part was damaged and then it was put away. Um, and then I purchased it. So yeah, love this car, but it's been sitting here for the best part of about nine months now. Then we have my Schumacher XLS. Now, this is a love-hate relationship car. Um, I love this car from back in the day, and a friend of mine used to run one. Um, he had the short wheelbase version. Now, this was way out of my price range, so obviously when this came up, I really wanted to get it. But I hated building this car. It was an absolute nightmare, and it's a pig but i love the car afterwards but every time i drive it it breaks or gives me trouble so I, I kind of have this i love the look of it but i don't really like working on it but it's a nice nice car um i love the uh, pushback uh, design front um suspension but i've got a new body for this because when i painted it up i messed up the body this red is very dark it should be bright vibrant red um, I didn't back it. I backed it in black instead of backing it in white because I forgot, uh, which is another thing that drove me crazy. So I have a whole new body and whole new decals for this car and I will paint it up. Um, I tried to purchase a short wheelbase one of these, just like what my friend used to have, but uh, they don't come up very often and I missed that one. Then you have one of my favorite all times car, all time car and completely different to the XLS. This is a stunning, beautiful Rolls Royce of a kit. Um, if you're looking to getting into Corsia, the re version is, is amazing. It's not that cheap, but the kit is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So I love it to pieces. And that kind of got me into the Kurosho cars. And as a re re, they, they just knocked it out of the ballpark. It was absolutely stunning. Uh, I love it to pieces. Then we have an original big wig. Um, I haven't done a lot to this. It's been sitting here patiently waiting. I put new tyres and wheels on it. Um, but it needs a full strip down rebuild. I've got a whole new body. I've got all the parts, uh, the, the body parts, and I've got original decals as well. So at some point that is going to get a restoration as well as I have a new chassis, original chassis, uh, original bumper. So this will be stored back to totally original at some point in the future. Then you have the Riri Egress. This is, um, this I built on the no, I bought built, but I had to paint up the body. And for some weird reason, I decided to put a twin cockpit in it um, just to be a little bit different. Um, it's got a new brand new Dynatec motor in it now. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely car in brand new condition. 
Then you have my latest acquisition, which I'm super chuffed because I've been after this one for a long, long time. And this brings a whole other manufacturer to RC Kicks as well. So this is a team associated RC10 Riri vintage buggy now gold pan so uh, fantastic it needs to have the body painted which is right up my street and i need to get a, a reedy motor of some sort as well as i need to get vintage electronics for it i've had some great uh, feedback on the uh, unboxing of this so i know what kind of electronics i want to put in this i just need to find it then we have hopefully my wife's next uh, restoration project that is a vintage madcap um it's just a little bit neglected um, I may be getting hold of a new um, body set for it, including the decals. If that pans out, then hopefully Rebecca will build this um, on the show. So that might be the next one. Then I have my first car I ever got from Tamiya, which was a grasshopper. This is a Riri grasshopper. This is not a vintage one. It's in mint condition. I've modified it a little bit. It's got different suspension on the back and it's got anti-roll bar on the back and things like that. Um, it's got a slightly faster motor in it and it's got modern electronics. Um, love that kit, really, really lovely kit. Then I have a Mint Stadium Blitzer. This has got a uh, absolutely immaculate chassis on it, fully driving, um, probably end up selling this. Uh, it doesn't really set the world on fire and after buying my um, RC10, I kind of need to replenish some of the funds because that car was really expensive. So this will probably go. Then I have another Falcon. This was started life as a runner Falcon, but it's been fully modified with all front end from Ampro Engineering. So it's got the whole front end as well as the braces from the bottom and inside as well from Ampro Engineering. It's got a brand new chassis on it. Um, so it's been restored to a slightly higher than what I'd class as a runner. I do have the original suspension, but I put this aftermarket suspension on because it's much softer. So it started life as going to be a driver, but now it's turned out to be, it's pretty much back to being a shelf queen kind of standard. Um, I've got not, it's an aftermarket uh, body, but original decals. Also, it's got a uh, Technigold motor in it at the moment. Then we've got another pride of joy of mine, which I've rebuilt on the show. I'll put a link up there if you want to go and see how I built this. This is my fully restored uh, Porsche 959. Also, I've got uh, aluminium correct wheels for the car, which are fantastic. They weren't cheap, but they are absolutely beautiful. So um, I'm waiting. This is having the, the internal driver cockpit for this car is coming out and I'm having a professional painted cockpit put in. Um, this is not an original body. This is an aftermarket body. I do have an original body, but it's so fragile. I, it's got a little bit of damage around the back already just from being in the box. So I don't think I'll ever really get around to painting that. So this should be taken to the next level with the wheels and obviously the professional drivers. I've seen some, I'll put a picture up here of the um, drivers being painted already. And as you can see, they are just epic. Another uh, strange oddball car that I bought mainly for the collection was the Vadra. Now, if you don't know about the Vadra, underneath that is an Avanti chassis. I built this on the show, I'll put a link up. Um, a very oddball car, can't say I'm overly impressed with it. It's not really what the Avanti chassis was all about, but hey, they did it, so I've added it to the collection. I uh, hate the decals with a passion. It's looking a bit dirty at the moment. Um, it's been driven once, but it's absolutely immaculate. Then we have, sorry, this is gonna go on and on for quite a while. Then we have an unrestored original um, hotshot. It's not an early one, and I put the gold wheels on it, but it's fully driver. Um, I will restore it at some point, but I keep putting it off because I actually drive this car. So if I restore it back to mint condition, I'll probably stop driving it. So I don't really want to do that. So it kind of sits in this runner condition. Uh, main problem is the suspension is all rusted. So I need to swap that out. So I'll probably do that anyway, just to improve it. So handling a little bit, um, but it really could do with a bit of love. Then we have an unfinished product that I haven't actually brought onto the show. Rebecca did a video not that long ago about the projects that I haven't finished. And this is one of them. This is a project I've been restoring uh, in the background. I haven't really put it onto the show. So this is my King Cab. It's coming along quite nicely, but again, finding some bits and pieces are really difficult. Now I've got original decals to go on, but I could really do with some new front tires that are the correct versions. 
managed to find rims. Um, I've got the mechanical speed controller is all in it now, as it didn't come with any electronics. So it's pretty much um, the chassis mint. I've replaced all the arms and things like that. I'd like to change the transmission on it. So I might do something like that later on down the road. Then you have my Dynastorm, which was a mint Dynastorm. It's never been run. The tires have basically perished, so I need to change them. Needs painting, obviously. It's the original body. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, completely mint. Then we have my Audi um, Rally. Uh, yeah, haven't done much to this at all. This is a little bit more um, in need of some love. It's still pretty good uh, chassis wise. I could do with sorting out some new wheels for it. Um, I actually bought new rims, but the tires are the hard part to get hold of and these are glued on. So um, it's a bit tricky to get that off. Body, body's in good condition, as in structurally, with all the components and parts on it, but uh, it was painted with car paint, so it's all flaked off. So I need to strip it all back again and repaint it back up again and then put the decals on it. That's a big project, that one. Then we got the Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon is mint, um, never been driven. The body needs to be painted. I have a, a separate body uh, and a replacement body for it because it wasn't cut out that well. I mean, I could straighten up all the edges and things like that so i might do that the decals are actually okay there's a bit of a sweet stain on there but the chassis is beautiful i put the gold rims on it just for temporary because i had them come in but they don't go very well if you paint the body the correct box art so whether they'll stay on them or not stay on that car or not i don't know then we've got a car oh, this is going on a bit isn't it then we've got the nova fox the this is a standard uh re -re. Um, I'd like to sell this on and change it for an original Fox at some point, but one hasn't presented itself, so I don't go hunting for it too much. But this is uh, this is immaculate. This uh, it's brand new. It's never been driven. Then we go on to a car that's been neglected for a while. This is another 2001 Ivanti. This will be my driver car whenever I get around to doing it as a project. Um, it hasn't, they're not proper white wheels, they've been painted, but the driver is correct and the rest of the chassis is all bang on. So it needs a motor in it, so it's almost complete. My plan is because I have a 2001 body set for my Shelf Queen, the current body that I have will come off that car and go onto this car. So it will then lift this car up to look like an Avanti 2001 instead of this aftermarket and a kind of purple racing body set. Then we have my fully restored uh, Striker still waiting for the main uh, driver section to come back from the professional painters. And then the original decals will be fitted and that will be a finished project. Then we have one of my favorite all time cars hidden down underneath. That's my Dyna Blaster fully restored mint condition um new body new wheels new tires new chassis uh I, I did a lot on that car spent a lot of time getting all the body correct it's a full running car and um, it's got full electronics in it i've got a few new screw bags to swap out some of the older screws but for all inter purposes it's mint one thing that is slightly Different is that this body isn't a Dyna Blaster body. It is a Tamiya body, but it's from a different car that uses the same body, but it's cut fractionally different around here, I found out later on. Um, so you have to adjust this section here slightly, but you, you would only know that if, if you really, really knew this car. But apart from that, it looks exactly the same. Then I have my Hobayo uh, 1 8th, the only 1 8th car I've got absolute rocket ship this i love this car it's, it's bonkers i've taken it out a few times but uh it's quite dangerous with the children around because it's so fast and being that it's all oh, being that it's all metal oops <laughs> being that it's all metal uh it shifts so uh, you have to be in a nice big open space otherwise it gets a little bit dangerous then i've got tons of boxes full of parts decals stickers manuals and things like that and then we're back to a second Tamiya Vanquish that is a almost shelf queen, needs the body painting, could do with some better electronics in it, um, original wheels, new tyres, um, chassis is okay. Then we have another Neo Top Force that I have, so I've got two of these. I'm tempted to change this into a Super Manta Array. I can't seem to find a Super Manta Array, so um, that would need a new body and changing the wheels to white. 
Um, so I might do that because they're super hard to get hold of. Then I have my trusty driver Schumacher Cat K1 Aero. That thing is amazing. It drives fantastic and it's super quick. Then we have my fake Top Force Evo, um, but it's almost back to being Evo spec, pretty much exactly. Um, I've now fitted the correct tyres on it. Suspension, I'm still yet to fit a front one-way diff into it at some point. Um, but uh, that's the driver one. I've just changed out a load of the screws for titanium. Um, these are fake wheels. These are dyed, but the tyres are now correct. Um, so at some point I will fit some uh, uh, original wheels on. Then I have a, another Falcon that is basically an original. I haven't done anything to it at all. It's just like I got hold of it but it's a very solid Falcon and it's prime for a restoration project because it doesn't need any new parts whatsoever, apart from it could probably do with this new set of tires and wheels and a really good clean. It's all original electronics and everything for it. So that is an easy restoration project um, and then sourcing an aftermarket body for it. Then I have a little tiny um, Tamtech Porsche, which is a 934. Um, I bought this painted like this. Um, it should be green, but that's that one. Then we have the pile waiting to go in the loft. This is the stuff you don't really see. So we've got some kits floating around in here. So I've got some Banggood Special. This is actually really, uh, I bought this one to do a, I don't know if I can get, get the lid off. This is a Banggood Special, but it, it's got, I picked up uh, a mini Hot Shot uh, 3D printed body for it. Bumper, so you can turn this kit into a tiny little um, Hot Shot. So that's why I have that little Banggood Special. And at some point I will build this on the show. Then I have waiting to be built a Avanti Mark II uh, project. So that will come to the show at some point. <laughs> then I've got this crazy sort of weird sort of uh, turnkey Badra uh, kit. I got bought this mainly for the wheels. Um, so it just sort of floats around. It does work. But uh, yeah. And then my Jiminy, which is now the 959 box. So there's nothing in that. Then I have waiting to be built an MO5 RA uh, front wheel drive, which is a bit weird for a Renault 5 Turbo. Now, I'm not sure whether I will sell this kit or what. It needs to have the rear um, suspension adjusted because Tamiya kind of screwed that up and made it too far into the wheels but I'm not overly sold I did buy the chassis originally to be part of the 959 um, chassis replacement but turns out the Jimny was a better option so I'll probably end up selling that on um, or maybe changing the body for something else and so I'm not that keen on the Renault body then we have another another car that's coming to the show this is a VX01 this will get built in the next month or so this is fantastic. A lot of people have asked me to bring some rally cars to the show, so that's kind of part of that. Plus, I love this chassis because it's got the engine right over the front, uh, which makes it really interesting to me. So I'm looking forward to building that. Then what else have you got in here? Mainly just boxes there. Now, this box up here, very special. It is, if I can do it with one hand, an original... Porsche 959 body. Now the problem with this body is it is in almost perfect condition and almost being the problem. They are so soft that even sitting in its uh, polystyrene boxy bubble wrap thing over the years it's actually sustained a little bit of damage. Now in this corner here there's a little bit of damage and over here, there's a little bit of damage. It looks like it's been pressed down on over time. Now there is a bump, uh, there is a spoiler that goes over this. Um, so that would hide a large portion of that. So I may do a paint job at some point, but it is so fragile. 
Luckily, the arches have been cut out on it. So yeah, these are quite expensive if they're mint. But unfortunately, this one isn't. If it was mint, I probably would sell it on um, just because of the price of them. But being that it's got this little bit of damage at the back, um, the only alternative was I'm thinking of would be to splice, cut out the back section, get a reproduction body, and then just splice in the back section. But that seems like a lot of work. And honestly, with the amount of work going on at the moment, I don't think I have much time. But it will sit there. Lovely, lovely thing to own. Ridiculously expensive for what it is. I'll put it away in a minute because I don't want to damage it putting it away. What else have I got? There we got a brand new Terra um, a Conqueror body. Um, then we've got a controller system waiting to go into. I'm not sure what did I buy that for. It was going to go into. Um, what was I going to put it in? Was I going to put it in the um, Evo? I can't remember. But at some point, I'll put that in. Maybe in the Dynastorm. I don't know. We'll see. But that's a uh, mint in box. Then we have two bodies <laughs> the original Dino Blaster body that came with my Dino Blaster. Um, and it was painted in this weird pink color, which I kind of like. But uh, And it's in reasonable condition. So I'm kind of just living with that. And I also have another one underneath, um, which I might do with some sort of truck at some point. In here is a Evangi 2001 body set. Um, it's got the stickers and all the body parts, apart from it doesn't have the center rear wing. Not a big deal because it's just a simple uh, wing that I can get from somewhere else. But that is going to give me a mint 2001 if antibody at some point on the show uh all the other boxes are empty now this ah yes this is a traxxas trx4 body why do i have another uh, traxxas trx4 body i am going to paint this like a, a tamia uh, decals of the monster um racer is it monster racer the king cabs uh, sister car i've got the decals which i got blown up to uh, a bigger scale so at some point i'm going to do a new body for my trx4 then we've got lots of bits of random rubbish going on here the original shell that i bought uh that came with my 959 when i bought it is absolutely toasted um i keep it around just because it's lovely but uh it's done a few miles then we have Schum <laughs> lots of bodies schumacher body uh avanti under tray uh, avanti uh used body um what else have we got uh that's my evo um body a load of schumacher bodies for my k1 aero and some other some other thing in there another another body set in there but i'm not sure what it is and then lastly but not least four hours later a load more uh team blue groove bodies um vanti body big wig body original um this is an aftermarket koisho custom body another tbg uh, evo body or top force body uh, as a, a boomerang um, zinger, is it zinger? Uh, winger, winger body at some point I'll do. Uh, a cat, uh, a Schumacher cat body, uh, another Ivanti body, and a Koyosho uh, mid body. What have we got over here? Uh, no idea what that one is. <laughs> some tires, some very rare tires. These are very, very rare tyres uh, from a mid. And a few more bodies for a um, my mid projects, quite a few. So as you can see, I've got nearly a body for every mid that I'm going to restore. And that is pretty much it. Well, congratulations, you stayed all the way to the end after me babbling on for ages about all the different models that I've got. So uh, big thumbs up to you for that one. Please like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to now put forward Mark Bryan for Mark Bryan RC. Um, I've been following Mark for 
ages and he, he uh, one of the first channels I found before I even started up RC Kicks. Now he's got some fantastic rally cars, so uh, be lovely to see what he's currently got stashed away. Anyway, Mark, that one's over to you. Thanks very much. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.